Mercury Gemini took not only some of the first photographs ever taken of Earth, some of the finest photographs of Earth captured on film. With digital processing, you can push processing a bit too hard, potentially, because it's so powerful. But the, the view in space and on the moon is very stark. There's no atmosphere, so when you look into the distance, there's no haze, so they're incredibly sharp. The light hasn't been filtered through the atmosphere, so you have this incredibly bright white sunlight. The black is an incredible depth of black that apparently we Earthlings can't even comprehend. They asked Charlie Duke about this, and he said it's almost like it's got a like a black velvet, like a texture you could almost touch. And I think when you see these images, you can really appreciate what he means to see the beauty of Earth from space. One of the reasons that the photographs of Earth taken during Gemini are so stunning, as well as using incredible equipment, is they flew to altitudes way beyond anything we've, that we've flown since. The International Space Station, for example, orbits uh, at around 200, 250 miles from Earth. Gemini 11 reached 850 miles. Um, so they held the record, actually, the, the Earth orbit altitude record for 58 years that was broken only last year by the Polaris Dawn mission. There's a shot in the book. It's actually a panorama of two photographs when they were very close to apogee or the highest point. We can see this huge sweeping scale of Earth that was taken over Australia. 